2 Ezra chapter 6, verse 28, and it reads, As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth, which have been so long without fruit, shall be declared. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Next, double honors to the head apostle slash elder bishops of Great Millstone, the one that taught us the 100% truth according to the Bible. Peace, blessings, and safety to all you sincere. I can keep pushing, keep believing, keep the faith. Regardless of people here, four beds, just a quick little hit. About to head to this damn job. You already know what it is. One day closer. We're, we're, we're one day closer. As for faith, it shall flourish. All, all kind of Hebrew Israelites are waking up. All kind of Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are waking up to their nationality. Faith is flourishing throughout the four corners of the earth. It says this word is going to go out throughout the four corners of the earth. And then the end shall come. Matter of fact, let's just get this right quick. And I'm going to come right back. Faith is flourishing. All kind of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are, look, look, are starting to begin to call on their true nationality as being the biblical Hebrew Israelites, right? So, look, look, say corruption shall be overpassed. You, 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 you can't beat that. What did I want to get? Um, St. Matthew, yeah. Let's get that. St. Matthew 24th chapter. Like I said before, just, just some quick, it's, it's Israel, it's high time to wake out of sleep. This devil is being exposed. The Lord is exposing this devil, man. You see, I might bring out a little clip. You know what I'm saying? Dude, I'm watching on a video right about now. Oh, I, I don't know. But I'm going to bring out these scriptures most definitely, though. St. Matthew chapter 24. St. Matthew chapter 24. And this right here, St. Matthew 24 and 14. And it reads, and this gospel, meaning this good news, of the kingdom, the 100% truth according to the Bible, right? And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations by, by way of what? The internet. Because Israel has been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, right? And then shall the end come. That's why it's high time to wake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than what we believe. You can smell it. You can see it. This word is what? So they're, trying, they're trying to hurry up and get rid of the Hebrew Israelites. You see? They got all kind of um, what's the word? They got all kind of agents. You see, false prophets just popping up out of the woodworks, trying to stop the growth of this word. But you can't stop something that you can't control. All right, this is this is divine intervention that's happening right about now. And if you don't see it, I don't, I don't know what to tell you. This is divine intervention. The Lord said, in their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Look, look, right now, we're starting to remember ourselves, right? St. Matthew 24 and 14, through the gospel. The, the Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, put his spirit on the prophets to return and teach them the truth according to the Bible. Let's get this again. St. Matthew 24, just like I said before, just something quick, man. It's high time to awake out of sleep because salvation is nearer than what we believe. And if salvation is near, do you know the downfall of the wicked is near, all right? You can't have one without the other. You can't have salvation without the downfall of the wicked rulers of the earth. And it's beautiful, man. St. Matthew 24 and 14. And this gospel, meaning this good news of the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, which will be played out upon earth, which dwelleth in righteousness. And these heathens are going to be here first in the captivity, right? That's the good news that we, the biblical Hebrew Israelites, that we're going to live forever. Our Lord and Savior is coming back. Yeah, how was shy who they even called Jesus? And he's going to rule in righteousness forever. King David is going to be up under him, the 12, along with the rest of the 12. And the men on down. And the men, women, and children are going to be at peace with one another for the rest of ever, man. All right? For the rest of our lives, for all eternity, right? We're at the end of this wicked, sinful kingdom, and we can't rejoice enough, even though we got to work, even though we're catching hells and bills and this, that, and the third, and we one day closer, Israel. The kingdom going to be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. So let's go right back. And then the end of what shall come? The end of this age, man, all right? The end of this corrupt age where wickedness is thriving, but it's all good. It looks like, it looks like these, these wicked people are winning, but they're not. Why you think? Why you think the majority of these Israelites are down with the with the um the the so called winning team right about now, which is the wicked, because they think they're winning, but the Lord got them in a trick bag. Second Ezra chapter six verse twenty eight. As for faith, 
What is faith to believe in something that you don't see? The Lord has given us the gift of faith to believe in what we don't even see. The Lord Yahweh should I say he's coming back in a human in a fathership and, look, look, and let me ride. The Lord says he's coming on that fathership. You see, not the mothership, but the fathership with the band of angels to gather the elect of the nation of Israel. Lord, when we part of that number, and we we believe that the Lord says he's going to take down this place, he's going to take down the wicked, and all these heathens are going ahead for us in the captivity. Look, look, we believe that the Lord said we're going to live forever and never be taken out of power ever, ever, forever, ever. Look, look guess what? And we believe that, right? As for faith, it shall flourish. Flourish, man. Corruption. Matter of fact, let's get a definition for flourish. We, we, we already, already know Israel's not going to get it. Like I said before, this is something quick. I'm not, not going to be too long with it. Flourish. Can I play it? Flourish. Flourish. Glorious. You see? Grow, look, grow or develop. This, look, look, this word faith is starting to grow. It's starting to, to develop, right? It says, um, in a vigorous, look, look, in a healthy, in a healthy and vigorous way. This is food for thought, right? Especially as the result of a particular favorable um environment, pretty much going into, like I said before, the kingdom. You see, it's going to be a healthy environment for the Israelites. Look, look, grow, thrive, prosper. You look, you can't stop it. You can't stop this where it's just growing and growing and growing and growing. You see, like a mustard seed. You see, like a bay tree. It's just growing and growing and multiply, increasing. More Israelites are waking up by the day. Faith shall flourish, bloom, burst forth. Let's see. And I can keep going on and going on, but process of time, I'm going to just keep rolling. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption. Corruption. We're living in a corrupt system, right? It says corruption shall be overcome. By what? By the truth. But by the truth. And, and that's exactly what these people hate. They hate that the Lord brought the truth back to the earth because their whole system was founded on corruption, thievery, lies, all that, right? So the truth, you know what I'm saying, is putting a damper in, the, in that process, right? That's why this man just got to come with it. He got to come with warp speed. He got to come in like a madman knowing that he only got a short time to rule. How do we know that this man only got a short time to rule? The prophecies and this truth is coming out. You see? What it say? And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. So Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, got prophets prop, popping up everywhere. Throughout the four corners of the earth, declaring the 100% truth according to the Bible. These are all the tall tale signs that this man is out of here, man. These are all the tall tale signs that this place is out of here. You got whistleblowers, you know what I'm saying? Um, the scripture says, um, he shall make their tongue, they shall make them tongues um, fall upon them. So look, so they tell you know what I'm saying they starting to tell on each other. Yeah, whistleblowers. It's, it's really good. I mean, everything is happening right about. It's, it's so much stuff. I, I I'm trying to figure out what scripture to go to. Look, it's so much stuff happening right about now. These devils are being exposed every time you turn around. Let's get this. Job the fourteenth chapter. And, and the Lord said, I have said, watch me upon thy walls, which will never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Um, ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence. This is Job 14 and 5. Seeing his days are determined. S whose days? Sleaze and eat. Esau eat them. Starting out with the elites. The elite banking families, the Rothschilds, the Gaddies, the Bloombergs. New rulers are going to rule the earth in righteousness, right? Seeing his days are determined. The number of his months are with thee. Thou has appointed his bounds that he cannot pass. So eventually, corruption is going to be totally overcome. Overcome totally, man. But by, by what? By this word. It's a beautiful thing to know that the elites, that these Edomites are going to be gone soon come, right? The triumphing of the wicked, I might as well get that since I'm here. The triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite. These they ain't nothing but actors going around act like they happen to earth. Come on, man. Actors, man. Job 20. For knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing, the ruling of the wicked is short. Who is the wicked? Esau, Edom. And the joy of the hypocrite, because they ain't nothing but big actors, but for a moment. That's why the scripture says it's high time to wake out of sleep, because the joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment. Israel, can't you see it? 
Can't you see it? What is it? Um, Romans 13. Like I said, well, just something quick, because I'm, I'm getting ready to rock, getting a late start this morning anyway. Just wanted to throw something out there. For the hope, for elect, because we're prisoners of hope. Romans chapter 13. Just hit a point. Romans chapter 13, verse 12. And it reads, the night is far spent. Matter of fact, 11. Romans 13, 11. Romans chapter 13, verse 11. Get this thing right. Romans chapter 13, verse 11, and it reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. For salvation is nearer than when we believe. And you can see all the tall tale signs are written on the wall. It's happening right in front of our face. Wars. The Lord said, look, you, I'm going to give you the signs of my second coming. I'm not going to give you the date. I'm not going to give you the hour. I'm not going to give you the year. But I'm going to give you the clues. And from, from the things that we're seeing right about now, all the clues that the Lord has laid out right in front of our face, we know salvation is nearer than when we believe. That's why it's time to wake up. It's time to come back to your nationality, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's time to come back to our nationality of being the biblical Hebrew Israelites. It's time for us to come back to our power, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash, who you ignorantly call God and Jesus. It's time, Israel. You see, the Lord's getting ready to bring new rulers, new righteous rulers to the earth. And knowing that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be? Let's get this right quick. Ain't going to be too much, man. The, the Lord's exposing these. I'm, I might bring it out right quick. This is Sirach chapter 10. Verse, um, I'm going to just get this. Matter of fact. I get, I get, I get three first. Do, do you Israelites not see the look corruption? The, the earth is corrupt right about now because of the people who's actually running it. Look at the way the earth is being. They're promoting wickedness at an all. They're just throwing wickedness in front of the screen. They, they, they ain't giving a damn now. They're just throwing anything wicked. They're throwing it at you, Israel. And you're too blind to even see it. This devil is throwing everything at you except for the, even the kitchen sink. He's throwing it at you, right? I was going to say everything but the kitchen sink, but this man throwing you the kitchen sink too. Anything is wicked. He is promoting it to an all-time high, man. Everything transforms us more than me the eye. You know what I'm saying? He's throwing drug dealing in your face. He's throwing, he's, he's throwing idol worshiping in your face. He's, he's throwing abominable foods in your face. He's throwing um, the juicy juice that they're caprice on. Anything wicked. He look, He's throwing the, um, the worship of the spiritual demon Satan in your face. Everything. He, he's, he's straight up throwing free will in your face, which it ain't no such thing. But he just, look, do Nike, just do it. What is what it was? Just do it. Just do anything. So Rock chapter 10, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and the truth is exposing it all. And the truth is exposing this true man's MO, you see? And look, and he look, he's throwing it at your babies 24 hours a day. He's not letting up. I grew up in a time where the TV used to cut off around 12 o'clock at night. Now, look, the TV stays on all day and, and nothing but those wicked vibrations are being pushed. You see? Everything, man. So Rock chapter 10, verse 3, and it reads, an unwise king destroyeth his people. Everything. Look, an unwise king, an unwise ruler is ruling the earth right about now, and he's destroying the people. But you're too blind to see. And this man don't care about nobody. Just know that, Israel. This man, this devil, this deceiver, this slanderer doesn't care about no one, right? An unwise king destroyeth his people. But through the prudence of them which are in authority, the city shall be inhabited. The truth shall flourish. You can't, you can't stop it. Let's get this. Like I said before, just something quick, man. Lord, one of the elect of the nation of Israel is edified, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, right? So Rock chapter 10, verse 4. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. So whoever's ruling the earth is being controlled by the Lord. The, whoever's ruling the earth, the Lord put them in the power seat. Job 9, 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. Then you go right back to Daniel. I think it's Daniel, the fourth chapter, I'm thinking. Whoever's pretty much whoever's ruling the earth, the Lord is in control of them, right? He puts them in the power seat. The power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord. And in due time, little Lord, remember, it's high time to wake out of sleep. Corruption shall be overpassed. Um, it's bounds that he cannot pass. Remember all the scriptures that I just brought out? 
And in due time, he was set, the heavenly father, the most high Yahweh, in due time, he was set over it, one that is profitable. Meaning his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, and the men on down are going to rule the earth and righteousness. And the Lord said, knowing that all these things should be dissolved, what manner of person are you to be? You see, a whole lot of turmoil. The Lord, Lord bringing it all too. The Lord bringing it all. Remember, this devil never cared about you. Going, look, going right back to Sirach. Sirach, uh, is, is it, um... Is it the 10th chapter? Nah, Sirach, uh, Sirach, the 12th chapter. Let's just get this, Sirach chapter 12. Let's just get this right quick. Um, Sirach chapter 12, Salakia. Uh, Sirach chapter 12. I'll read 10 right quick in a couple more verses, then I'm gone. So Rock chapter 12, verse 10, never trust thine enemy, for like as iron rusts, so is his, so is his wickedness. So you can never trust this devil, right? Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed of him and beware of him. And though he shall be, and thou shall be unto him as if he ha thou hast wiped a looking glass. And thou shall know that his rusts have not been altogether wiped away. Just like that bike. Just like that bike that you sit out in the rain, it get rusty. You you take some sandpaper, you take the rust off. That's how you know you come back to the bike. What, what, what's, what's up with it? The rust then came back. That's just like this man's wickedness. No matter how much he tried to clean himself up, he's still the wicked. Remember that, Israel. You see? 13. Who would pity a charmer that is bitten with a serpent or any such come nigh wild beast? You, you know a snake bites, right? You know a snake bites, right? You, you know a wild beast can devour you, right? That's just like this devil. Let's read down. Four, 16. An enemy speaketh sweetly with his lips, but in his heart, in his mind, he imagineth how to throw thee into a pit. Remember, never trust thy enemy. He's always trying to throw you into a pit. And all that is being exposed right about now. Everything about these devils are being exposed. You see? What it say? But in his heart, in his mind, he imagined if I to throw thee into a pit, he will weep with his eyes. But it, but if he find opportunity, he will not be satisfied with blood. If adversity come upon thee, thou shalt find him there first. And though he pretend to help thee, remember an unwise king destroyeth his people. And though he pretend to help thee, yet shall he undermine thee. And that's exactly what this devil doing, yo. When he passes his laws, when when, when he allows you to perform um, wicked acts, he's destroying you. He's he's acting like he's giving you freedom. You know what I'm saying? But this devil's actually destroying you, Israel, by letting you commit all these wicked acts. You, you, but you don't see it. But the Lord, you know what I'm saying, got a cure for your wickedness, and it's called fire. You see? Bear with me. I'm going to play um, some of the elder brother Yaka's video from um, GMS, The Basics. Listen to this. This devil is truly being exposed, right? Let, let, let me play a little bit of this. Fair use. Fair use, man. Israel, the Israelites, us, we're going to rule in righteousness perfectly, okay? Because we're going to be caused to, made to, right? So, but it says for Esau is the end of the world. So they have to go down, okay? And uh, the decline starts when you start to get exposed, right? People start to see what, what you really on, all your democracies and philosophies and, you know, all the lies and deceit, right, that, that they've been uh, uh, propagated, right? Well, now the, the nations also are seeing that they've been lied to, lied to, hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, right? All these things, right? And so, again, this is part of the prophecies, right? That they must be exposed, okay? And that's a telltale sign of them going down, okay? And so, they're going to try to fast track their ultimate agenda, all right, of a new world order, a one world government in wickedness, okay? They're going to try to fast track it. So, that's why the scripture says, hey, uh, matter of fact, let me just grab it. In this Revelation chapter uh, 12, verse 12, it says, Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the, of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath. This devil is talking about Esau, Edom, the wicked, all right? He's coming, uh, for the devil is come down down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time 
right? And how does this devil Esau Edom know that he have but a short time? Because he see that he's being exposed, right? All his lies, right, are being exposed, first and foremost, by the prophets, right? But then also by these heathen nations and even themselves, like the scripture says, their own tongue shall fall upon them. And that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Again, another sign, all right, to let you know that we're not in the, you know, beginning of the end. No, we're at the end of the end, all right? So uh, let's go ahead and play this clip. And like I say, just a couple of scriptures and that's it. Everyone today who is rallying behind Israel is going to lose. I mean, obviously they're going to lose. Because rallying behind Israel just shows that you are still stuck in this old colonialist, imperialist, racist, Western supremacist mentality that the entire global south rejects. And frankly, not just the global south. I mean, there are huge numbers of people in the West itself who reject this. The majority of people on Earth reject this. So you see, you're showing the whole global south, you're showing the whole world that you can't change. That you're the same as you ever were. I think the West and America in particular needs to understand that the whole world is seeing you for what you are. Your stance on Palestine makes it starkly obvious to everyone that you are not actually mature or developed enough to deserve a leadership role in world affairs, and certainly not in the affairs of the global south, certainly not in all of the countries that have been your victims all these years. I mean, there's no repentance on your part. There's no contrition. There's no moral improvement or change in you. You are exactly the same people who wiped out the Native Americans. You're the same people who regarded Africans as subhumans. You're the same people who murdered hundreds of thousands of Japanese civilians in a matter of seconds at Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. You're the same people who dropped napalm on civilian villages in Vietnam. I mean, on and on. Nothing changes. And nothing exposes this today more than your stance on Palestine. Nothing demonstrates that you have not changed or developed in centuries more than your shameless support for Israel. And believe me, you're alienating the whole planet by this. When you back colonialist Zionist violence against the Palestinians, everyone sees it as emblematic of your whole attitude to the non-Western world, to the non-white world. Everyone in the global south identifies with the Palestinians. Everyone in the Muslim world identifies with the Palestinians. When you declare your support for total war against the Palestinians, when you declare your support for a psychopath like Netanyahu calling for basically a final solution against the Palestinians, well, everyone in the global south gets the message. You are deranged, immoral, barbaric, bloodthirsty, racist savages. And all your talk about human rights and the rule of law and all of that is all just hideous hypocrisy. You don't mean any of it, and you never did. <laughs> Faith shall flourish, and corruption shall be overcome. Shalom.